Hey guys, we're back with a new angry review. I want to thank you for uh, watching the video and being so patient. Not been a whole lot of games recently, but they're coming. I want to thank our sponsors, G Fuel. As always, we have the 30% off code that we do with every angry review. Thank you so much for buying a tub because it directly supports our show. We get a percentage, and there's actually some really exciting G Fuel and Angry Joe Show news coming in the future. Can't share it quite yet, but just know every time you purchase a tub, like right now, it really, really helps towards this. So thank you so much for supporting our show, and I hope you enjoy the review with many more to come. Check it out. Well, it's been 25 years. Are you ready to battle Shredder one last time, Mikey? Yeah, but why do you have one side? D don't worry about that. My, my, my kids lost the other one. It's in the garage somewhere. I'm okay with just one side. All right, let's go. You got your, yeah. hey. Oh, oh. No, 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 that'll be fast. What's wrong? It's my back. The doctor says I've been sitting around during the day too much. Oh, Ooh. shoot. I, I know how that is. I mean, my doctor's got me on three different vitamin supplements, Prozac for depression, some for my anger issues, and then I got fiber, and I got the Lipitor for my cholesterol. Apparently eating pizza every day for the past 40 years isn't very good for our health. Oh, I know what you mean. I almost have to give it up. Between the lactose intolerance and my heartburn? Oh. Yeah, but it sure is delicious, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, well, uh, where's Donnie and Leo? We gotta go. Well, Leo's out getting colonoscopy right now, and uh, it's Donnie's weekend with the kids. Oh, um, can his ex pick up the kids? We need to call and find out. I guess three of us is, is better than than just one and a half with your back and all. Uh. Well, let's let's go. All right. Ooh. Easy, now easy. They do their shopping at Whole Foods. I bring my own back. They used to be so cool. Now they drive this boy old kids to school. Middle-aged mutant ninja turtles. Middle-aged mutant ninja turtles. Middle-aged mutant ninja turtles. Hey, Casey, where the hell were you? Oh, man, it's bingo night. Man, Shredder almost nearly beat the shit out of us. If it, if it weren't for nap time, he fucking fell asleep in the middle of our fight. Can't turn down two for one bingo, man. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Where's your hockey stick? Oh, man, I gave up hockey a long time ago. I just do shuffleboard with the boys down at the rec center. Oh, all right. Well, take your mask off, goddammit. We can barely hear you, Casey. <laughs> Uh, welcome, guys, to our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge review. I know it's a month late, but I don't give a shit because I wanted to have a video for historic sake. I don't care how many views it gets. I needed to tell you guys, go and buy it if you haven't bought it already. I had so much fun with it. We just got super busy. Nice. Whoa. Yes. It's just like the animated series. That was so good back in the day. Oh my god, this is fucking amazing. In my opinion, it is a near pitch perfect uh, return to the 80s and the 90s uh, arcade beat em up games of the past. And that fucking intro video is perfect. Let's go! I mean, it really evokes the cartoon, you know, all the nostalgia that we had as kids. And I was so happy and excited to be playing it uh, with you guys. And uh, like I said, um, it's hella nostalgic. And playing through it just reminded me of so much of my childhood memories yeah. of not only the TV show, but all the toys. I love that there's an overworld in this game. That's fucking classic. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I used to have that vehicle, too. It was sweet. Debit yeah, Pizza did you yes. have that toy? Yes. Why? Were you a rich kid or something, John? Uh, I couldn't afford that toy. I think it was sweet. 
But however, because it's so close to its roots, it admittedly doesn't really add anything new to the formula, yeah. right? This is a, a classic beat em up that is almost exactly like it was decades ago. So don't go in expecting it to be, you know, Some modern. Brand new. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, any sort of, you know, evolution or. or so much extra effort. I shouldn't say extra effort because you could tell the developers put effort here. Uh, they were uh, so much love and passion. Mm -hmm. You could tell they really cared uh, to go uh, sort of above and beyond. And there's tons. Of, and here's why the game is good. You got tons of fan service. It is Razor. Holy shit, it's Razor. That's so fucking cool. Toka. Toka. Right? Hunger, I used to think, these guys suck, man. Where is Bebop and Rocksteady? You know what I mean? And then as you get older, once you get your Bebop and Rocksteady in the game, now you want to see those guys in the game. You've got tons of Easter eggs. There's so many side characters to see. Uh, it has great sprites. Hmm. It's very colorful, awesome animation. Amazing music that we never got sick of. Let's kick some shell. Let's kick some shell. Let's go. Damn, the song kicks ass. You remember fucking Power Rangers, Joe? How it played the... I try to forget that. The fucking same loop, 15 second loop. Gave us a headache. <laughs> oh, what the oh my god, this song is driving me fucking insane now! Ay, 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 ay. This might be getting as worse than Ghostbusters. I'm not sure if Ghostbusters' song was this repetitive. God damn it, stop playing this fucking song! The music plays over and over and over. I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> it made us feel fucking sick. But here it is awesome. Fantastic sound effects and basically great visuals and color. Everything that you can want in a beat-em-up. Joe, where are you? Can you come over here and give me a five? Give me a five, Joe. Joe! Joe! God damn it! <laughs> that was you! Joe! God damn it! <laughs> Joe, give me high five. Joe, give me high five. Joe, give me five five. We did it! What did you guys think? Oh, I loved it. This is a great uh, homage to the other ones, Turtles in Times. It reminds me. Oh, of, I love Turtles in Times. It's time. a great co uh, couch co op yeah. game, playing with your friends. Up to six it's person co op. Six people. That very is a, let me, chaotic, let me, I have that written chaotic. here. That is the, the craziest fucking shit. And it See, might have contributed a little bit to the chaos uh, of, of what we were doing because we played it exactly that way with six players on screen fighting. Ready, let's go. Oh my God. Oh Jesus Christ. That was hilarious. <laughs> yes. Six players is pure chaos. Surprisingly, though, I can actually track my character. <laughs> but it actually worked. That was the crazy fucking part. Um, you know, I'm sure it's way more manageable in like two or three player, yeah. and like things are a little bit more, you know, uh, you could tell what's happening on. But it's actually quite impressive that you could play with that many friends and it work. And it's got drop in and drop out co op. I got it. I got it. I got one this time. Nice. Nothing. This is so much fun, guys. Seriously, <laughs> fucking awesome game. <laughs> yeah, I also I really like the each individual actually kind of felt unique in its own way. Yeah. It's like little smashing buttons and whatnot, but it felt it's unique. definitely a button smasher. But you're right in that every uh, character has their own moves. Uh, in fact, they even have um, different uh, levels in certain things like power versus speed. Um, certain characters are definitely better than others. Mm -hmm. I mean, Casey is is actually has more Mikey power than Mikey should have been else. the best. Yeah, uh, uh, probably Raph. user error. I, I mm. will say that Raph uh, won most of the levels. Thank you very much. It was between me and Splinter because Alex was uh, forced to play Splinter because Casey is locked until the end. And I don't fault the game at all for that because, honestly, this is a throwback to the time where I didn't have to spend five fucking dollars to play Casey More in a that. goddamn <laughs> DLC. Oh, it's that DLC. classic thing where when you beat a game, a secret character unlocks, right? But I wanted to play Casey on the, the first I playthrough. I know, I know. 
Um, but anyways, uh, the gameplay is fun as heck. Mm -hmm. But I got to say, it is short. <laughs> it is really easy, at least on uh, standard difficulty. I would probably recommend gnarly difficulty, knowing what we know, at least with six players. You, you got to go. You got to bump up the difficulty. but Because uh, you really do button mash. There's not any super intricate combos. There are a few, mm -hmm. um, but there's only you know sort of a few unique attacks with different button presses. So you get your flying kicks, your running attacks, but... You know, mainly you spam. Like I said, it's not a, not a super modern beat em up, but it's still fun to see how high you can get your hit counter. And I think Joe actually I broke it. Well, he, <laughs> broke yeah, the he game. the game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we might have found a, 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 an exploit to juggle character because you are supposed to juggle them. I'm just not sure you juggle them this long. Mm -hmm. Fuck them up, though. Give him hell. That's it, seventy. So keep going. This guy's awesome for. Play with the corpses. Oh, I think we can Play hit Play with it. them. 126. No, nobody go. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. 153. One, uh, fucking Donatello. Fucking Michelangelo. One of the, we broke the game. Juggling a dead body. <laughs> yeah, playing with it. The guy was it's dead. It's still fun. I don't know. We've got a broken game. No, 250 is the Keep achievement. Keep it go. We need a 250 achievement. Do not let it stop. Joe, why aren't you wear Mickey? Mickey! We need Mickey. Get there first. Do not let no! It's just right here! What three more to no, it! I got it! You got it! You got it. it. <laughs> it's still going! It's still going! It's over! What what is it that we're hitting? I can't tell what we're hitting. <laughs> What are we even hitting? It doesn't matter. It's a corpse. We're juggling corpses. No, but I don't see the corpse. Let's go. It's a little mouser Get the 300, Joe. We broke the game. I'm in radical mode. Oh. oh it looks like radical mode. Fuck it. 287, radical. 287, come on. Wow. And I, part of the fun of the game is just looking at all the animations and all the different bosses. And like all the people jumping out of the, the windows and like the surprises, mm -hmm. right, from the arcade. And Bebop and Rock City, come on, class. Oh, yeah. Dude, what was so awesome is, you know, so uh, that we got to see, oh, no, I'm going to forget their name. Razor, uh, Razor and, and, and Toka. Right? Toka, right. yeah, Toka and Razor, Razor from Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Go. Babies. <laughs> Babies. Yeah. We say that a guys. lot. Guys, there's uh, all these bosses that you'll recognize from action figures, from the television shows. It's just a blast to go through, especially if, you, you know, when we were kids, me and me and uh, Joe were really big into Ninja Turtles. Were you, Alex? I had a bunch. But, I mean, I, I'm an old guy, and so I remember going to the arcade. We played X-Men the side-scroller and Turtles yes, in Time. And, Avengers. like, we, we, look, we tried to go on Sundays where there was, like, two hours of free play. That was the only time we ever got to beat Turtles in Time and all those games because, like, I think we couldn't put quarters in for fucking forever, so. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so, you know, as far as the gameplay, again, uh, so in addition to all those attacks, you also have some defensive stuff this time. Uh, and I'm not sure that was in, I know it wasn't in all the arcade games, but maybe it was one or two, but you could revive down teammate. I'm down. Oh no, let me help you. Oh, oh that's the wrong button to do <laughs> You're that. laughing at me. How do you, I'm trying to, Left I'm burn. getting them pizza. Don't let me get hit. There you go. There you go. We did it. Kind brother unlocked. That was helpful a few times. It gets a little harder there towards the end, mm -hmm. right? As you're getting up into Shredder and uh, uh, Krang. Um, there's even a unique mechanic where you give each other high fives. I mean, to steal hit points. It, it does, yeah. It shares hit points, and then sometimes you're like, "God damn it! I wanted to high five Joe, and Alex comes over here and intercepts the high five and steals my, my life." I like it. Um, and there's actually a tons of uh, because there's six characters, tons of little team attacks. But we didn't really do that much on our playthrough. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, it's probably because most of the time you kind of find the one attack that that really works really well. And then you kind of spam the fuck out of that. Yeah, it's a spam side scroller. So, That's what you do. Yeah. Uh, so like I said, uh, you know, people's vi mileage may vary on on that combat, but mostly I just fall into uh, the most effective way, which I think is, I don't know if it's an exploit, and I don't know if it's something that they need to patch out, but I should mention it is that I exploited the game. 
You know what I did, Alex? I think you, uh, Joe, caught on to it earlier. What it was is the taunt the button. The taunt. Mm -hmm. So the taunt you build button, up your, I spam the yeah. fuck out of the taunt button, and then I do my super attack. And I just stopped with my normals. Mm -hmm. I would just do nothing but taunting and super attacks. And I started winning each and every level on the number of enemies killed. Um, and honestly, if the entire party figures this out and you have six players, it would be... <laughs> Everyone chaos. taunting nonstop. Yeah. yeah. Yay! Longest hit streak and total KOs. God damn, boy! Did more than fucking April, Leo, Mikey, and Splinter combined. <laughs> I don't know how. What the hell? Oh, one thing I want to actually mention is like I like the voices, all except. Oh, yep. yeah, the Shredder. Uh, well, there's a reason for that. I, I understand that, but they the couldn't get somebody away. close. Some yeah. closer. Oh, yeah, some fulfilled. of the voices are good. Some of them aren't, aren't quite as accurate. But you know what? I can forgive it because it does give us the long-awaited uh, ability to play as other characters. You've mm -hmm. got Master Splinter and April O'Neil. You got Casey Jones, like I said, after you on I didn't game. get Casey Jones when I won. I know. Nope. But there's seven characters to play as, whereas in all the other games, you really only had four. So it, the game definitely uh, you know, gives you a little bit more. Um, but yeah, and to me, this was a fun party game, more so than a you know, rewarding beat-em-up. Just great, guys. So 16 levels in the game, um, and then there's two modes. There's story mode and arcade mode. Arcade mode has you have to go through the entire thing with one character without, you know, stopping, and it was consecutive, so didn't really play it. The, what we played and what we had fun with was the story mode, where it has this, like, overworld. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the overworld was pretty neat. Um, I mean, I wish there was a little bit more to it. Uh, I mean, there were some Easter eggs in the game, some exploration. You're looking for lost diary pages. Someone was looking yeah. for like missing newspapers. For what reason? Uh, I to to for unlockables and stuff mm -hmm. that in the game. But um, I, they could have done a little bit more. But I was totally satisfied. I mean, that's kind of it fits what you know they were trying to copy. Yeah. yeah they uh, and then if you turn in all the collectibles to like the side characters that are in the cartoons, like the supporting cast, mm -hmm. uh, they'll give you more experience points because in story mode another thing you could do is level up yeah. your characters give you certain boosts but again all kind of superficial not not anything mm. really big deal or nothing big but uh you just level up quicker um and but luckily there are harder difficulties so if you're thinking that the game is too easy don't worry because there is the gnarly difficulty and I actually tried doing the taunting span on gnarly you can't do it in the later level too so many it enemies yeah does actually well I was the only one playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if there's six of us, maybe maybe one of you still can taunt. Yeah, but anyways. Um, and then finally, uh, there are the length of the game. We got to talk about that because it's only about two, two and a half hour hours. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can push another hour out of it if you're collecting every single uh, little thing. But again, that's only three hours. Wait, Joe, you're going to advocate for a four, less than four hours? Four hours. Yes, I motherfucking am because well, it's not a $60 game. Right now, it is only $24 or fucking free if you've got the Game Pass. You don't have to pay. It's not free. It's you it's already a got those with a subscription, <laughs> yeah. With a subscription, which you could do for a dollar, get your trial and get out of there. Um, so that's fucking amazing. The fact well, that the game I was going to say, I think Turtles in Time was actually like around three hours or so. It's it's yeah, long. but it's also it's a $7,000 game. If you think about all the quarters you needed to beat that <laughs> yeah, game, you're just like so. putting quarters in like crazy. So I'm so. just saying, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and honestly, I think that there was to try to get every uh, achievement, not really an appealing aspect. It's more just replaying it with different combinations of friends and, and just seeing all the different bosses. But I'd still say, if, if I had to put them up against each other, now it's been a really fucking long time, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time might still be a little bit better in terms of like the gameplay and the bosses and the levels. Uh, but it's hard because, but this is definitely like right there yeah. with it because it brings everything in the lore together in one. It's a celebration uh, across all mediums. Um, and it's, I think it's probably like the second best beat em up in the whole franchise, in my opinion. So, 
Um, and especially with games out there, Alex, like fucking what? Diablo Immortal and Warcraft 3, Reforge. Nerf Legends. Mm-hmm. Fucking Nerf <laughs> Legends and, and GTA Trilogy Remaster. I'm talking about like the older Crazy. games that they kind of yeah. like redo and fuck them up. They didn't fuck it up. Yeah, have these people do X Men next, please. Yeah, yes. yeah, that'd be a great. Yeah. One. Oh, please! And this is pure fun and joy. So I think now it is time for the final verdicts. What would you give it, Joe? Ocho, I'm gonna give this an eight. I really had a good time with it. I liked the story. It's like had its own thing, mm-hmm. kind of added to the nostalgia. I uh, like the voices of the characters. I had a great time playing with you guys. Oh, yeah. And you can't Just order it. a fucking pizza and That's exactly and have what we did. Yeah, we pizza, have, yeah. beers, just play this. Fuck yeah. yeah, dude. Have a great time with your friends. So, eight for me. Yeah, I complete agreement. Eight out of ten. I had a great time with this game. It's short, uh, but you know what? Like, we have Game Pass here. We advocate for Game Pass, so I didn't mm-hmm. pay anything for it outside of what we already have, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a great time, and it reminds me so much of you know going to the arcade, and I think that's exactly what they were going for, yeah. and they were successful, so uh, yeah. I recommend it. So again, you know, my angry Joe critic brain is also at 8, but I'm going to bump it up. I, I mean, I wanted at one point I wanted to give this a 10 out of 10, right? But when you consider all like, like the power. length, the evolution, <laughs> the nostalgia, the mechanics, and, and, uh, and what's on offer here, I think TMNT is, Shredder's Revenge is a 9 out of 10 with a badass seal of approval, guys. Um, it's it's easy. Easy to recommend, especially if you have some friends to go it through with you. And it's on Game Pass, so uh, do it there so you don't have to spend the $25 separately if you don't have the Game Pass. But like I said, it, invite your friends over, have a fucking pizza, play this game, and it's have great. A great time. Yeah. Well, remember your lactate and yes. all those yes. other don't things. Don't forget, he does, you he, need your pills. Yeah, he yeah. does get heartburn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Some fiber, take some fiber pills. We're but middle it, age, man. Yeah, middle <laughs> age. Ding, ding, ding. But you know what I know? It, it actually preps me, too. Like, I'm fucking in the turtle mood. Um, and it's good because they did announce another game called... Called, uh, the Kawabunga Collection. Did you know about this one? Mm-mm. It's coming later on this year. It has 13 different Ninja Turtle games all combined and collected that you can play on one platform in, in one thing. Oh, that's never gone bad before. Remember that? that Sonic I, yeah, one well, and, uh, yeah, no, I think this one is looking good because it adds save states, yeah. rewind functions, button mapping, and online capabilities in certain of the games. <sighs> and local co-op in all games where it was originally on offer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll definitely be playing some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's no release date on that yet other than 2022. And uh, but this one right here, Shredder's Revenge. If you just want to buy one, have some fun with friends, and run through it, this is the game, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Come on, dude! Middle aged mutant ninja turtles. Middle aged mutant ninja turtles. Ah! Ninja turtles. Middle aged mutant ninja turtles. One of them has diabetes, but doesn't know it.